Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over the Cisco Secure Networks Analytics Platform and Cisco Secure Cloud Analytics Platforms. And I'm going to basically go over what they are and what they do. And from a high level, I'm going to cover off what the differences are between the two different platforms. The Cisco Analytics products were formerly known as Sourcefire from the Cisco's acquisition of Lancorp in 2015. And they provide network behavior analytics, network visibility, and security intelligence. And the main differences between the two platforms is Cisco Secure Network Analytics is a solution made for your on-premise network, where Cisco Secure Cloud Analytics is a similar solution, but is focused on the cloud. So that's mainly the three big cloud providers, AWS, Google, and Azure. And there are a number of use cases for both cloud and networks analytics. And here are some of them, which you can see broken down into three main sections, which are from a visibility perspective, seeing top applications used, top talkers, flow queries, responding to incidents, auditing, and more. And then there's investigation and threat detection, which allows you to investigate and detect anomalies, violations, and detecting threats with the analytics platform. You can detect and stop attacks as well, such as command and control attacks, detecting reconnaissance attacks, and data exfiltration and so on. So you've got the potential to investigate and detect a number of attacks using this solution. And then there's compliance and violations use cases as well. So for example, PCI and ports and protocol violations, you can detect network policy violations. You can monitor traffic to meet security requirements and legislations and so on and so forth. I've just mentioned a few. There are more use cases than the ones I've mentioned here. Let's have a look at network analytics from a high level. So with network analytics, it has visibility and digests and understands everything that is happening on the network by seeing all of the traffic flows and conversations, where the traffic is going and why, the amount of traffic, ports and protocols used, who the device is talking to, and many other things. And once it understands all this and understands all the conversations and has digested all these flows, it's able to alert you on abnormal traffic. And we can see on the left here where my mouse pointer is. It collects log data by either using native capabilities of the network itself to export that information about the traffic, but it can also use industry standard flows like NetFlow, JFlow, IPFix, or other protocols, and also use spans and probes as well. And this is all to gather the information about what it's seeing. And this data is processed by sensors and collectors, and it's placed in different parts of the network. So you can see all of these devices here. It can collect information from all these devices, as long as you set it up, to send the flows to Cisco Secure Network Analytics here. And it can ingest data from Cisco ICE as well. And then it can feed back information about the user and the device from firewalls, from routers, switches, etc., and even remote users using the Cisco Secure Mobility Client. So that can send data back about the remote user back to Cisco Secure Networks Analytics. And then on the top left-hand side here, we can see the type of telemetry data it collects. So here, traffic visibility, it collects data from the network, and it collects things like IP addresses, ports, uh, data timestamps, etc., providing end-to-end -end visibility of the network. And it records all of the conversations or connections of your endpoints, servers, firewall switches, and rest of your network devices. And we can see the endpoint details as well over here. And because it can ingest data from Cisco ICE, then it can collect data about the user and the device as well. So for ICE, we'll be able to see the user, the device type, login time, location, the security posture, etc. On the right hand side, this is traffic visibility, this is layer four information, and this is based on the flaws. Once we enable the flaws, we can see this type of information here. And then in the middle, there's some more layer seven type details, endpoint traffic details. So the application, the layer seven application, website URL visited, NAT, NAT details, crypto, so the TLS version used, and the process as well, with the endpoint process running. And what techniques do these analytics platforms use to detect and feedback information about the network to us? So there's techniques of detecting changes and anomalies, and these are the four main ones. So one is the behavioral modeling. So once analytics has data about all the network connections, it applies something known as behavioral modeling, 
which analyzes every activity within the network and then it can detect changes to activity to find anything abnormal. It has IP metadata, system logs, security events, system events, configuration changes, information from vulnerability scanners and so on. And then it does its behavioral modeling on all of this data. So looking at things like looking at the ports and protocols of a device, what connections a device makes and so on. And from all of this information, it's able to analyze and detect abnormal behavior. Next is the machine learning. So it does machine learning, which uses supervised and unsupervised techniques to detect threats. Next is the global threat intelligence, which is powered by Talos, who is Cisco's security intelligence research team and has all sorts of information about what is out there in terms of the bad stuff, the malware, the dodgy websites, etc., the dodgy domains and all that sort of stuff. So if it uses Talos, you can instantly block things based on the recommendations by Talos of what it's seen out there in the public, in the wild. And then there's encrypted traffic analysis, which is able to detect malware without having to decrypt the actual traffic itself. Now moving on to Cisco Secure Cloud Analytics. This can ingest data from your clouds, such as Azure, AWS, and Google, and every conversation is seen from every device in the cloud. And then Cloud Analytics uses all of these conversations to understand what's normal, again, and it can inform you on anything suspicious or different about the conversations and alert you on abnormal behavior. So you're able to respond to it. So it's a similar solution, but it's focused on the cloud and it understands the cloud. And with the cloud version, all native logs are ingested from the different cloud environments. For example, virtual private cloud logs from AWS and NSG network security group flow logs from Microsoft Azure. And then there's GCP logs from Google. And you can collect logs from the private on-premise as well. And because it's cloud focused, it understands every entity in your network, in your cloud. And they are able to group devices together using something called dynamic entity modeling. For example, let's say your public web servers and your DNS servers, so it can group them together into functions that they perform. So it can know based on the functions they perform whether something abnormal is happening. So for example, your web servers and your DNS servers are using the SMB share, the SMB protocol, more than they usually do, which could be an indication there's a malware propagating across systems within your network. And again, the techniques of detecting changes and anomalies in the cloud as well. So you've got the behavioral modeling, which is a way of detecting a change to a type of activity to pinpoint anomalies by detecting traffic that has changed. And then there's machine learning, which is applied, which is another layer of detection. And then Talos Global Intelligence, which is also used in the cloud by Secure Analytics to gain even more knowledge about the potential threat that may be on the network. And with Talos, the Secure Analytics doesn't need to look at the historical data because usually it looks at the historical data to make its mind up about what's abnormal or what looks suspicious, etc. But with Talos, it just takes on board what Talos deems as a known threat, as Talos is constantly researching this type of information out there in the wild. Then there's the encrypted traffic analysis, which is able to detect malware without having to decrypt the actual traffic itself. And both solutions establish a baseline for normal behavior, and then they can identify bad actions in your network that deviate from what it normally does. And one part I've overlooked is that both solutions can tap into the other network. We can see here. So the cloud has an on-premise sensor which can collect data via the NetFlow, JFlow, etc. from the on-premise devices and send to the cloud. It's a lightweight virtual machine. And if we go to the previous slide, with the on-premise solution, the Cisco Secure Network Analytics, it has a telemetry broker that can pull down AWS VPC flow logs and then can convert them and digest them into the network analytics platform within the on-premise environment. But both solutions are focused for their respective environments. For example, network analytics has been purposely built for the enterprise and has granular tuning built in. But there's a bit of fine tuning to be done before it's customized to your environment. And it has some NetOps use cases with it as well. Where cloud is for organizations that want a SaaS based solution and has self tuning capabilities and of course understands cloud services built into AWS Azure and Google. And it understands changes within the cloud 
And this is key because it understands that when, let's say, a configuration change breaks something in the cloud or puts the cloud at risk from a security exposure perspective. So it's able to send you alerts on these kind of things. And it does all sorts from a visibility perspective. And I've got some images of what it can feed back to you about the network. I've used cloud analytics as an example, but I pulled these screenshots from Cisco dCloud and I put them into the PowerPoint slide just to show some examples of the images and what the cloud feeds back to you about the network. And looking at the first image on the left, we see our internal devices it has found over here. And on the right hand side here, we see inbound and outbound traffic and which of the traffic is encrypted. On the bottom left, we see the top devices. These are the ones that are making the most noise or called the top talkers. And on the right hand side, we see our top DNS devices. Again, the top talkers, the top DNS talkers that is found on the network. And this image shows the types of alerts we can create using the Cisco Cloud Analytics platform. Next, we can see actual alerts being triggered here. So these are some of the examples. And in the next slide, this is part of a visibility assessment report that shows many things, such as potentially unauthorized DNS servers over here. And at the bottom here, it shows potential hosts at risk of exposure, DNS malware or data loss. So it's obviously picked these things up based on the algorithms it uses and the techniques of ingesting all the data and then feeding this back to us. And this slide shows traffic to high risk countries. So you can deem what is high risk to you, what countries are high risk before this is fed back to you. So you can see the countries over here on the right hand side and the day the traffic occurred on and the IP addresses over here. And finally, for the last slide, I've got some examples of remote access breaches as well. Again, the day it's occurred on connected IP addresses and other information over here as well. And we can also see the flags of these countries that these IP addresses belong to.